I've been uh, checking out a bunch of research that's been done on the Hulda Clark Zapper. And uh, a lot of scientists have uh, done a lot of research because uh, Dr. Clark published her schematic for the Zapper in 1993. And uh, ever since then, certain scientists have uh, actually conducted some, uh, had time to do a 10 year study or just do studies in general. It's been over a decade since she published her, her information in her books. And so at the University of Washington, uh, they've done a study called the Low Intensity Electric Current Induced Effects on Human Lymphocytes and Leukemia Cells. And uh, they used an actual Hulda Clark zapper in their study. And uh, this data suggests that the electric current can selectively inhibit the growth of leukemia cells and does not significantly affect normal cells. So it uh, hits the leukemia cells and it does not affect normal cells. That's pretty good information there from the University of Washington. And then I discovered that the same researchers did a little bit more uh, with more medical applications of electromagnetic fields. And uh, they were studying malaria this time, the malaria parasites. And uh, it says that they have this may provide a low-cost, effective treatment for malaria infections in humans, and that the effect would selectively target cancer cells. Thus, no adverse side effect would be expected as in traditional chemotherapy and radiation therapy. So that's, that's pretty great that uh, they found the same thing that Hulda Clark found back in 93. And then in uh, Israel, the Department of Molecular Cell Biology, Israel did a study using a Hulda Clark zapper called Disruption of Cancer Cell Replication by Alternating Electric Fields. And uh, they say, we demonstrate that applying these fields to cancerous cells leads to proliferation arrest and cell destruction. And then they go on to say that the tumor treating fields, they call TTF, TT fields, cause a significant reduction in tumor growth rate without any significant side effects. And in conclusion, we have demonstrated that the tumor treating fields inhibit both the proliferation of malignant cells in culture and the growth of tumors in mice while showing no general side effects or local histopathological damage. So it uh, attacks the cancer and uh, doesn't damage the body. So that's, that's a, another promising study. Now, Dr. Robert Thiel did a study using Hulda Clark zappers and uh, he called it the bioelectrical stimulation for people with patterns consistent with certain chronic infections. And his study was so uh, positive that he says that 140 of 143 patients, which he found to be 97.9 percent participants, reported improvement within 45 days. And uh, he concluded that there are several reasons to believe that there may be scientific justification for the use of zappers. So that's another really strong study. And uh, to even push things further, in 2009, which is 16 years after Hulda Clark first published that parasites can cause cancer, the Queensland Institute of Medical Research publishes parasite turns cell cancerous. And uh, they basically found that the human liver fluke contributes to the development of liver cancer by secreting granulin, a growth hormone that is known to cause uncontrolled cell growth. So. 1993, Hilda Clark first said that parasites cause cancer, and in 2009, scientific studies back it up. So these are all pretty exciting things. I'll put the link below the video so you can check out all these studies on your own. And uh, get out there, check it out, but make sure build or buy a Hilda Clark zapper, try it for yourself.
That's the only way you'll ever know if it works for you. Experience is the best teacher.